Hi everyone, Laura here and H. She's in a cuddle mood and today I'm going to do my second quarter running and fitness haul. I honestly didn't think I was going to have enough because I didn't get the go ahead until June 12th to start running again. But you know what? My money spends just fine when I'm injured. So without any further delay, let's get into the goodies, which means you little girl are going to have to go down. So the first thing in my haul are my Hoka or Recovery Sliders. I already did a review video about these if you would like to learn more. Uh, you know what? I, I still like them. Not love them as a recovery sandal, but they are great just to wear around the house and, and for kicking around. I did notice though that when these get wet, they squeak. After cleaning our front porch, I'm walking around, I hear this squeaking sound. It's like a, a little bird with its wings stuck in a door hinge and I'm trying to figure out what it was and then I realized it was coming from only one of them. But yeah, still love them. Not as much as my Ufos Ooh La La sandals. Oh my goodness, I love these. Definitely, definitely my favorite type of recovery sandal. I did not buy these. On my first pair, I was noticing, even like from the very beginning, how there was a lot of cracks on the straps. And I thought, well, maybe that's just normal. When I spoke to a representative at the Princess Half Marathon Expo though, she said that sometimes the painted strapped models do crack. So she recommended that I go ahead and contact the company and that they would send me a replacement pair. And they did. Don't you just love great customer service? So thank you, Ufos. Okay, so what is next? Under Armour. Now since Under Armour is a Baltimore-based company and I'm a Maryland gal, I do absolutely love that brand. And it doesn't help that we always pass an Under Armour outlet store when we come to the beach. And earlier this year when they had a great sale and we had some killer coupons, I went a little crazy. We are talking about some gray capris that I actually got out of the dirty pile. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get away from the basic black. Most of my bottoms are always black. And I got two shirts, one of which is pink that I left at home. And I got two pullovers with the quarter length zipper in the front. And of course, they have thumb holes. Thumb holes are everything, right? My other pair is like a mint green, but again, I left it at home. Not doing too well, am I here? I also got a really cute pink and gray backpack that I left at home. Way to be prepared, Laura. I also left a pair of Under Armour Capri sweatpants that's made of a tech material that I picked up at Dick's Sporting Goods. Oh my goodness. These are my new absolute favorite capris. The fit is just nice. They're loose where they need to be loose, tight where they need to be tight. They have a nice feel on the hips and they just look kind of dressy actually for a capri. So they are my new favorites. Not this fly though. So while we're on the topic of clothes, I did get a pair of the Saucony Bullet Capris. There's that fly. It's a high <laughs> Anyway, I had purchased uh, my first pair back in 2015, and I tell you what, they are amazing. I'm soon gonna be putting up a video of my top 10 favorite running must-haves, and they are definitely on the list. So I went ahead and grabbed another pair, but I really like them in the back. They have a nice zippered section. They also have a pocket on each side that will fit an iPhone 7 Plus in it. I probably wouldn't run with the phone in my pocket just because I would kind of worry about it slipping out, but for walking around, they're great. What I don't like about these though is that they don't, how can I put this, lift and separate in the back, if you know what I mean. But you know what? A little bit of this solves that problem and also means that you should never borrow Body Glide from me. I did pick up some new Fitletic water bottles because my previous ones were getting kind of ratty and I was due for a new pair. Sticking with the running belt theme, I also got a new Fitletic belt. My previous one was a little too large, so it rode up. This one is just perfect. I absolutely love this. And it is definitely included in my favorite running belt video. For the poops and giggles, I also picked up these water bottle straps that can turn any bottle into a handheld. And I tell you what, I am really loving these. What's also really cool is that if you use them to carry a disposable bottle on your run, 
Once it's empty and you throw it away, then you can slip this with a little bit of a struggle onto your wrist and carry it that way as an easy bracelet so you don't lose it. Loving them. Also, thanks to my father, I now have a really cool way to store all of my past race bibs in this neat bib folio bib album from Gone for a Run. Uh, he did buy the stand for me as well and some extra uh, bib sheets that I probably didn't need, but thank you anyway, Dad. I absolutely love this. Now, that brings me to my final thing that goes under the fitness category. For that, however, I need to change and put on some sunblock because once this little girl sees it, she's gonna go bonkers and you will soon find out why. This is the last thing in my haul, a brand new Rambler Tandem two-person kayak. I absolutely love it. And the reason why I had to save this for last is because some little girl loves to go kayaking. And here she comes now. Are you ready to go? All right, get on down there. You need to put on this first. I know, you don't like it very much. All right, so I came in here to get out of the wind to close up, but there you go. That is my fitness and running haul for the second quarter. What about you? What have you purchased in the past three months? Please leave it in the comments below because I am quite curious myself. Until then, I got some water to hit. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more video updates. And as always, take care and have a joyful day.